So maybe you're faced with clutching opportunities and just can't seem to pull off the W at the end. Today I want to go over how to clutch, specifically looking at five key components I find helpful when placed in these situations. Now of course every clutch situation is unique, depending on map, objective location, and whether or not your opponents are overconfident. These are five things I personally think about and use on a consistent basis when placed in these situations, and I hope some of you could benefit from it. Starting off first, be aware of time. Whether you're on offense or defense, you need to make sure you play by the clock. On defense, especially being the last one alive, you need to be heavily aware of that clock as it typically tells you your next move. For example, if you have a nitro cell, maybe you go ahead and throw it under a window or by a doorway to prepare for an incoming attacker. Or maybe you're smoke and want to begin cutting off points of entry by beginning to throw those every 15 seconds or so until time runs out. Your opponents are watching the same clock as you and are probably trying to formulate a plan around that last push. Watch the clock and think about how your opponents will react as time runs down. On the offensive side of things, if you have time, drone it out. I still drone even around 30 seconds, sometimes less, because I want to be confident when I make that final push into the room. If you're close by the objective and can get a quick peek with your drone before pushing in, then definitely go ahead and do it. Yeah, I've got time. Second, prioritize your encounters. If you're on defense and being closed in around, prioritize the angles in your head based on who would be able to see you first. You might even have to turn your back to a closing opponent if it means you protect your vulnerable side first. Play smart and play to win the round. This means you may not be able to pick up that downed enemy for that kill to help the KD. On defense, you play to survive. We aren't trying to improve that KD, we're trying to win our team the round. On offense, for some reason, nearly every clutching opportunity is all about how greedy the defending team is. I've never faced a defending team that just bunkered down in the objective and waited for that last defensive member. That being said, I recommend you get a drone in the objective and figure out how many are actually camping it. If you feel confident rushing in to take on one or two, then do it and force the roamers to sprint back and panic. Remember, when it's just you on attack, every defender you kill will be a beacon for the other defenders. Our natural inclination on defense is to wander over to where our buddy just died to try and get that last kill. Expect this mentality and pick them off. Third, conserve your ammo. I especially find this true on defense. Every bullet is a headshot opportunity. Reloading too soon can get you killed. In fact, a lot of the time I end up taking on that last opponent with only a few bullets left in my magazine because I don't want to run the risk of reloading. Now, this isn't to say you can never reload. Having a full magazine is super smart, but you have to analyze your situation. How close is this enemy? Is there enough time for me to reload? How much time is left on the clock? Because if there's only a couple seconds left, you need to prepare for your opponent to round the corner. Be confident and focus on that headshot. You only need that one bullet or two technically. Fourth, shut up or call out. Now this is directed at your teammates in this situation. Your teammates need to be on cams or drones to help you clutch. Someone can watch you clutch up and have a sick YouTube clip, but the others need to be looking at all possible angles. If your teammates let you know where your opponents were last seen, you can start imagining where that opponent would be coming from. Start predicting the routes that they would be taking to get back to the objective or to get to you if you've been spotted or you've recently killed another enemy. Backseat gaming is one of the worst ways to stress out the dude clutching. As a rule of thumb, if you cannot give your buddy intel he or she doesn't already know, let them play the game. You are dead, you're not playing. Your playstyle might be different than theirs and or you might do things differently than they would. But if you aren't offering callouts based on opponent locations, cameras, frost traps, etc, don't talk, just let them listen. Listening in a clutch gives you so much more assurance and confidence on whereabouts, and it provides a more stress-free environment than when teammates just scream at you on what they would do if they were in your shoes. Fifth and finally, stay calm. The more focused you are on winning the round, the easier it will be. Remember, the other team typically gets overconfident, setting yourself up perfectly. Regardless, the more opponents you kill, the more hyped you get, and the more worried those last enemies get. Ride that hype, Focus in and stay calm. I've had trouble staying completely calm on PC, but thankfully I can maintain composure on console. Something I need to keep working on myself, but if you can relax and take the clutch one kill at a time, you'll be better off. Sometimes I legit close my eyes and just listen to my surroundings and take a second to think about my plan and how I believe my opponents will behave. Now this is not a tip, I do not recommend you close your eyes, I'm just letting you guys know some weird habits that I have. That's it for today guys, I hope these five key components were helpful in reminding you guys how you should approach a clutch situation. Again, every round is different, so there will never be a universal way to clutch every round. But with these tips, I believe you'll be in better shape the next time you face the opportunity. Hope you guys clutch up and get those awesome clips. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.